In today's video, I want to show you an e-commerce price tracking agent that I recently developed and implemented for one of my clients. This AI agent tracks his direct competitors' prices and monitors them. As soon as there is a price drop, he will get automatically notified in Slack. Obviously, for privacy reasons, it's not his actual AI agent, but a copy of it. So for that, I just selected two random products on eBay, basically outdoor furniture, uh, product one and product two. These could be the same exact product you are offering in your e-com business, but it's the shop of your competitor. So you track prices of your competitors. As soon as they change any prices, you will get notified on Slack. So for that, let me trigger this AI agent and let's test this workflow to showcase you what it actually does. Great, now let's check the output. So it should have saved it in our Google Sheets price tracking sheet. So let me check. Yes, it's, it tracked it. the last row basically for product one with, with its price and product two. So now let's check. Now let's check Slack. And here's the notification. Product one, lower price detected, price difference 200. Product two, lower price detected, price difference 100. And as you can see, it basically scraped the last row and compared it to the previous scrape basically. So the difference is here 200 and here price is 100. USD. So it basically cracked it and compared it to the former price. And as soon as there is a price change, you will get notified on Slack. Now let me walk you to the actual steps. So in production, we use a schedule trigger. In this case, I didn't use it. Um, in general, I wouldn't overdo it. You run into the risk of getting your IP banned if you try to scrape major pages like eBay or Amazon constantly, they most likely will ban or block your IP. So for that reason, just do it once a day or twice a day, which makes sense, right? Prices don't change every other second. Here in production, you can get rid of the um, one click execute workflow. It was just for the testing purposes. What we did is the eBay products I showed you, first product one and product two, we basically f use a HTTP request node to fetch the HTML. So just get method, paste the URL, no other changes. And then as you can see, gets all the HTML from that single page, which is a lot. So in the next step, we basically just extract title one and price one of product one and the same for product two. In general, you could definitely track more products than just two. I just selected two prices for testing purposes or showcasing you how this works. Um, how you get your title, let's say, select title, it's basically extract from all the HTML. We want to extract the title, CSS selector, we selected the title and it's the text, it's not a link we want to extract, right? So let me show you how you can find those HTML classes or IDs if your CSS selectors basically. For that, right click and then inspect. And here you will see, go over to this little arrow. This will allow you to select, in this case, I did select the price, H1 item price, although I selected the, in my case, uh, title. which was basically the title tag. Um, yes, that's what I selected. But for accuracy purposes, I would go and select H1 and then select the class item, X item title. You get the point, right? And the same you can do for price in the second, second HTML node. So back to our agent next just basic merge to combine price and title as you can see if you test the step we'll get the title and price beautifully in one row same could, would go for this one next we have basically an if to 
check if there's anything empty or not and then merge the the price and the title of both of them but as you can see the issue here is it will append each other so it's the combination is price and title for product one and then it adds or appends the second price and product title for that in the next step i had to write a little bit of code to basically let me get in to merge them and get them into a one single row if you test this one now you can see product one price one product two price two so here a little bit of code then nothing fancy here we just append a new row in our google sheets file at the url of your google sheets file and here select the sheet and then insert the variables accordingly to the predefined columns in your google sheets file right so nothing fancy in here next after we paste it in in our google sheets file we want the ai agent to basically compare the prices of the last two rows right and there's the issue of why you have to add a wait note in here it's basically just a five second wait is because if you don't add the wait note in here the agent will try to fetch from our google sheets file the last price but this note takes usually a couple of seconds until it populates the new price or the new row in our google sheets file for that reason we have to make this agent wait a couple of seconds before it's even able to use its tool to fetch the last two prices that's been basically scraped earlier so it will be able to determine if there is a price change and then a simple if note if there is a price contains lower price i want to get notified in slack there's nothing fancy in here just select your slack channel and the message you want to send to the slack channel and then it will show you that there is a price drop for you to act accordingly to change the prices or adjust your prices or whatever you want to do with this information for my client it was important to track on monitor basically two different competitors prices for the same product they all three were selling in their e-commerce store so and the same goes for agent two basically same steps now this agent basically compared the last price with the previous price but in the same columns i also made a second template the second template doesn't use ai agents uses code node to basically compare not the price of the with the previous node but rather compare product one with product two to see if there's a price difference let's say you want you don't want to track the current price with the price from yesterday let's say you want actually if the same product you are tracking on two different pages or two different uh, e-commerce stores if there is a price difference so you can select which one suits your needs better so let me run this too now it does its thing and let's see there's the new row and the message should be attention there's a price change prices has increased so you get the point there are basically two variations that's that's the beauty of automations in general and then you can either sprinkle in some ai magic or just keep it simple and use a basic automation that's another thing you don't have to use ai just because it's cool um, it's okay to use an automation if there's no need for ai because an ai agent an llm will cost you additional money right just use it in case there's an actual value so for that reason i wanted to show you both examples just to showcase you that it's more important to be pragmatic than just fancy fancy doesn't win be pragmatic and if it's boring i take boring all the day if it's superior to the sexy version so just wanted to showcase you two different versions for you to decide which one will suit you or your clients better yeah and hope this was a inspiration for you if you are a developer but if you are a business owner and don't have time to learn how to build these ai agents you can visit my template marketplace cockney flows where you can 
by ready-made templates like this one I showed you in this tutorial. So link is in the description below. Check it out if that's interesting for you. Other than that, I hope for the developers on amongst you, this was inspiring. So that's it. AI Agent out.